even if you're a very well motivated person, there's gonna be times when you feel stuck. I'm thinking to myself, I'm not being productive, I'm feeling lethargic, and it's not helped by the fact that we see so many people doing home workouts on social media, people reading all kinds of books, everybody zooming, all the friends they have. <laughs> and it can make you feel like you're not doing enough. So what I wanted to do with this video was just share some things from my experience that could help you if you feel like you're stuck in a rut in a very practical way. Over the next few minutes, I'm just gonna outline three to four things that help me on a day-to-day -day basis to get through my final year college work, to still run my business, and to maintain some form of mental clarity. Let's get it go, let's get it done. So what does an automated morning look like for me? I wake up around 8 a.m., go downstairs, fill up a cup of water, put in a Nutrigreen supplement, go for a 15 minute walk around the park that's near me, have a cold shower, put on trousers, come downstairs, open up my laptop, set out the four tabs that I need to do my work, and then look at my note-taking app to see what my goals are for the day. With that, I've primed my brain to be oxygenated because I've been outside. I have my uniform on because I'm wearing my trousers and not my tracksuit bottoms, which just makes me feel like I'm a bit lazy. And I've set up my laptop in a way that primes me for work and not just browsing YouTube, browsing Netflix, wasting, wasting time. Often when we're doing tasks, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Say you have a big college essay to do and you literally have no idea how you're going to fit 2,000 words on a page. One way of breaking that up is to break down stuff into small incremental steps that you can execute bit by bit by bit. So for me, I use a note-taking app called Todoist and it has a list of all my tasks for the day. So for example, when I'm making this YouTube video, I write down, make a YouTube video, but within that I have subtasks, writing the script, outlining what cutaways I need for the video, importing the footage onto my laptop, the description, the title, the tags. By breaking everything down into small steps, I can complete little segments and tick them off as I go along, which just gives me more motivation to continue moving forward. I read this book called Deep Work by Cal Newport a couple of years ago, and it has a really simple and great formula in it. The quality of work is equal to the amount of time spent multiplied by your intensity during that period of time. So how many times have you said to yourself, I'm gonna do four hours of study at the weekend. The first hour, you're hammering away in it, you feel amazing, you feel like you're superhuman, you're getting through everything at such a quick pace. And then by hours three and four, you're feeling lethargic, you're having to reread the page. Whatever it is that you're offering, we're not into it, don't care, couldn't care less. Your intensity in hours three and four is nowhere near the same as it was in that first hour. What Cal Newport suggests, and something that I've been trying to implement is, it's better to have short, intense intervals of work with breaks than to try and do work in one big block. It's better to be focused intensely than half on, half off throughout the time you're working. When you're stuck in a rut, you tend to think the same way. You're having the same thoughts, you're having the same problems day in, day out. Learning something new is a way of breaking up those thought patterns and you figuring out new creative ways to solve the problems that you're having. I like to do it by reading books, ranging from science, engineering, marketing, stuff that I can just read for five or 10 minutes a day to get my brain primed to think in a different way. Because the great thing about learning something new is that not only does it freshen your perspective, but it allows you to make connections with different, different knowledge areas in your brain. In terms of practical resources, Amazon, download books cheaply on the Kindle. And there's this website, which I forget the name of, but you can basically find like cracked copies of books online. We've got a badass over here. So that was a different kind of video. I just thought it was something that might help people. I've got a lot of assignments, so hopefully I'll get something out to you next week. If I don't, I'll probably see you the week after. Stay productive, like the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Here's the meme of the week. It was mental, uh, queued up. Got in, you know, ten pounds, please. Ten pounds, is that all? Oh, take it. <laughs> Got in, drinks. Yeah, yeah, drinks on me. Can I have a round of seventeen shots, please. <laughs> yeah, seventeen. <laughs> How much? <sighs> uh, did that on the dance floor, just.